<laughs> Hello, Lolas. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, guys. I have baby Noah here, and he's going to get a baba. He's going to get a baba. It's been a while since I did a sit down with you guys and chatted with you guys, but I am going to give him a baba and talk to you guys about some of the things that the differences and how I feel about different things. So, as you guys know, um, some of the babies come with drinking wet now, where you can give them bottles of water and they wet their diapers. And if you warm the, the bottle up and, you know, make it pretty warm, not scorching hot, of course, when they do wet their diaper, it actually feels like a real baby when they actually are wetting their diaper. Um, so that's pretty cool, especially for, um, people who really want to experience that, um, realism. It just adds a little bit of more realism there. And, um, but the one thing that I particularly, um, so that's, that's the plus of that. But the thing that the on the downside of that you can only give them water so therefore when you're feeding them you know i actually enjoy sorry i'm trying to keep myself covered here i actually enjoy seeing the fake formula i love the way this this look like this this is what babies drink they drink milk mostly and you know the formula and i love the way that look so with the drinking wet you don't get that look necessarily. So I've bought like, to substitute that, like there's um, the MAMs, they have like the tinted bottles, um, which is pretty cool because you kinda, it almost looks like it's milk at the bottom, like the bottom part is the same color as the formula. You can get those as a distraction, um, you know, but put water in it. Um, so it's different things. But for me, I really like fake feeding with for videos and stuff with the formula, um, the fake formula. And um, so, yeah, and if you look at this, <laughs> it's got fuzzies on it. If you look at this nipple, okay, fuzzy wuzzies. Okay, if you look at the nipple, the tip of this nipple, I seal this nipple. I actually sealed it with silicone so the same silicone that we paint with I sealed it with this so this is also gonna be an interesting experiment as well because let's see. so there's nothing coming out um, but this silicone is constantly being wet when I use it so we'll see how long the silicone stay adhere to the nipple. How about that? I, I thought about that the other day. I said when this start coming a loose, it's kind of like, hmm, you know, they say silicone shouldn't be wet. You're giving them a bath, all that stuff. Uh, let's see what happens because this is actually interesting because it is getting wet. I thought about that. I said, I wonder how long it's going to actually last. But so that's the thing about the drinking wet. Um, then the armatures in the, the silicone babies um, versus not having armatures in the silicone babies. I think the armatures are so great when they move, you know, easily in the dolls and they, you're not moving them like a robot, like boop, 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 boop. Like they easily like, you know, bend and then um, it's really great for posing. Um, but it do kind of stiffens the doll a little bit. Um, the they don't just fall like they normally would. I think the best thing ever is just having the elbow armatures. Um, I used to say a long time ago, Romy Stratum used to put just elbow armatures in her dolls. And I used to say, wow, that's all she does is just put elbow armature, really? But now I get why she did that, why she did that, that was really the best thing because you keep the movement the flow of the jiggly of the silicone which we love regardless if it's realistic or unrealistic to some people 
you get that you still have the bo the best of both worlds but yet you can bend the arms upward downward and you know kind of keep them in a same type position um so i really love the armatures i think a lot of artists have gotten away from putting the armatures in the legs now but i did actually like them in the legs as well because the legs could curl up and stuff like that but it does lose the juggle but i did like that because you you really can pose a baby with armatures um I like full armatures too sometimes um, when they can flick their wrists and stuff like that because that's pretty cool as well. So, you know, it's all about preference again on what you like and what you don't like. And then it's always the big thing of Reborns uh, versus silicone. And to me, it's so totally different. I just absolutely love both. But... Of course, cost is a big thing for the Reborns versus the silicone. Um, reborns are a lot less expensive than the silicone. They are, some of them are quite pricey. Um, the average Reborn nowadays um, is costing like $1,600 and that's like bald or painted hair. That's the average of like a lot of the elite artists. Even the average artist is charging now around $1,100 for just a ball of painted hair. Um, reborns. Um, so, but you can find them for less, um, for 800 and under. Um, and then, you know, the silicone, the thing about the Reborns is the Reborns are so flexible. There's so many thousands of faces and sculpts that you can choose from. You can also mix match your limbs on your, you know, on your Reborns and stuff like that. The silicone, not as many options, but yet the feel of the silicone is so realistic um, because it's soft and also the uh, ability to dress them in I mean, you can dress these babies in just about anything. It can be too big. It could be um, back out, you know, especially like summertime for the little girls. It's just lots of fun, which, you know, that's what I'm, I nest, as I was nesting for my girl, that's a lot of the things that I, I did buy this time around is little rumpers with the, little rumpers with the the back out and stuff like that because you can I can do that and you don't have to worry about the cloth showing you don't have to worry about trying to put on and find a, a matching shirt to go up under it um which kind of throws the outfit off especially if you got like a little you know t-top and the little bloomers and then you got to throw a whole t-shirt under it so I mean although it is still cute you do you know lose that See, so like, you know, I can, that looks real. Like, that's, you know, that's that's the beauty of the, the full body. Um, and now that they're doing the full in one piece, which don't get me wrong, a nice jointed neck baby is still nice. As long as it's, you know, did right to where it's not obviously showing as a jointed neck. I still love my jointed neck babies. Um... So, like I said, you know, it's all in a matter of pre preference and stuff like that. But, you know, you got different things. Um, in Reborns, you definitely can get a lot, find a lot more African-American dolls versus um, silicone babies. Um, it's very rare, very hard to find, um, especially one that's done in a proper skin tone it's very hard um and it's very hard to do i will say that um just on the artist's behalf it's very hard to do silicone period much less trying to reach the african-american skin tones and stuff because it's a lot of blending a lot of different colors and it's just you know very hard to do look at him look at his tummy hey you got one you what you got on your tummy, your little tummy tummy. <laughs> um, 
so yeah so it's just a lot of different things um a lot of people ask where do you find these dolls to buy um a lot of people i think have a hard time trying to find dolls because they are so caught up on trying to get custom made dolls i mean in a perfect world we could customize it and have it exactly like we want but a lot of times they don't never turn out that way because the artists have their vision you have your vision they try to match your vision which can be totally different from what they think what you tell them and what they think you're telling them sometimes don't align and I just find it sometimes leaves so much room for error unless you absolutely love everything that the artist does um for me I mean how much gratification is it that you see the doll already love it and know what you're buying when you buy it um even if you put it on layaway, at least you know what you're getting. Or, for those that pay straight out, you pay your money and a doll is being shipped. That is like the best thing. Versus waiting six weeks, eight weeks, you know, two months, three months. You don't even know what's going to happen from then. If you're going to even like it by then. Like if you're going to even still want it. So, that's one of the frustrations that collectors have because they're too busy trying to look for this customized doll um but there's facebook groups there's ebay there's etsy there's all different types different places you can look you know there's youtube there's instagram where there's dolls going up for sale every day you just gotta keep looking and find one that you know fits the all the things that you are looking for um and it takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it when you're spending this kind of money. Because, let's face it, these dolls are not cheap. Um, I personally don't do customs. I will do them occasionally here and there from like, I have done a few. I will say that um, just from like one of my repeat customers. You know, if she asked me to do a custom, I probably would just do it, you know, because she has most of my work already. She's very familiar and, it's, you know, I'm used to working with her anyway. It's not that hard. It won't give me that much anxiety or pressure working on the doll. Um, but for the most part, um, and that's a lot of artists. A lot of artists are like that. They will not do customs per se, but they'll have that one or two persons that they will do a private order for or something like that because a lot of times it's not really customs when it's like that a lot of times they're like I just want this sculpt can you paint it for me sure okay what do you want do you want a Caucasian or do you want it African-American or biracial um I don't care surprise me or they'll be like you know biracial or African-American and African-American doesn't always mean that it's going to go super super dark so you know you have a lot of play in all of that so it's easy to do those type of private orders like that um you know it can be a lot of pressure and a lot of stress for both the buyer and the seller when doing customs because the customer have given you their money they have nothing no collateral and they're waiting and hoping that you get it right and you are holding this person money and their 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 doll and you're trying to get it right and hoping that you get it right that they like it when you finish it so it's like two-way street so I just like buy it now I like to paint put my dolls up for sale and let the mommy pick the baby as is um, if that makes sense um, I have been finding eBay has been a lot easier to just put the baby on eBay and sell it. And I think that's where I'm leaning towards with my future dolls. I think that once I finish them, I'm going to take their photos and I'm going to put them on eBay. And I'll just share the links. Um, it's just easy. And then because you don't have to keep repeating the same information. All the information is listed, listed in the listing. The pictures are there. It's, it's just right there. So it's very easy. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm not going to keep this video very long. Um, this is Noah Pooh. He is the Willow Awake by Claire Teller. And he is the prototype number two. And he is a sleepy little boy. <laughs>
and I think he's happy because he's had his bottle. So if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, make sure you do so. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you leave me a comment below. Let me know if you have a topic that you would like for me to discuss or um, yeah, any questions or anything like that. Leave it in the comments or PM me on Instagram or Facebook and I will try to accommodate. Thanks guys. Bye bye.